is the journal page based on the tag number um, nine challenge sprays and it didn't actually end up being a journal page as such with a layout and everything but I do end up creating one after this one I, this was just such a high moment once I would completed this because I was still trying to work out how to apply white medium over sprays without it coming through the sprays. So I'm putting up all the products that I've used on the screen here and there'll also be a um, link to my blog post below this video in the description which details all the products that I've used. Um, so I've just sprayed it all, dabbed it off, happy with it, and then I put on five coats of hairspray, just no name hairspray, two coats of gel medium, um, what else, uh, a coat of Liquitex clear gesso, um, and then a coat of, another coat of Liquitex, Liquitex clear gesso, and then a light sand with a sanding block and I just sponged on some white gesso over a stencil and oh my god it's worked now I'm trying a Posca paint pen and it's actually working too oh, I was so happy yes there was a bit of work involved to get it to work but if that's what you want and that's what you have to do that's what you're gonna do well I am anyway so I was just so happy with it that I didn't go any further with it I just had to write down what I did and then move on so I did start another page and we'll have a look at that in a minute um, but I think I sort of went overboard with the gesso and uh, not the gesso the gel medium on that one so lesson learned and with time and practice I think I should be able to achieve it pretty good mostly all the time I hope so don't give up it is possible and these photos show that that the color of the sprays is not coming up through the white so I'm very happy with it bit of a shame that I didn't get to create an actual layout on that background because it was so pretty but there's another day and another play so this is in my tag challenge journal book um, that I'm just applying a coat of gesso. I think I just used Liquitex Professional. It's a fluid gesso. And now I'm going to go in with the sprays. So this is Patina from Heidi Swap. And I think something mint. Ah, sweet mint. Beautiful colours together there. And some fresh lime no I think that was polished jade and then the fresh lime and there goes that noise in my microphone and headset I don't know why I charged it and I thought because I thought that was the reason I don't know so I've just run a um, paper towel roll over that to remove the excess now I love this stencil or template as Kaiser Craft calls calls them. It's called quarters and it was just made to cut into four six by six stencils. And I just love the patterns in them. And so I've just taken the stencil and put it on the page and then sprayed some water over it and then rolled the um, paper towel over it just to give it some texture. And I'm doing the same with the Cosmic Bubbles Crafters Workshop stencil. 
so happy with the the um, colors on the page now so I dried it oh I went back in with some more sweet mint and butter yeah I think it I thought it needed brightening up a bit with the yellow but then as you see soon that all changes So that's the, the hairspray that I used. Now, not too thick of a coat, just five coats of light spraying. Now here I'm applying some gel medium and I thought, because I didn't want the brush strokes in it, I'd use a plastic card. Well, I went overboard and scraped it on areas over and over again. Really, you just want one swoop and that's it but so now I'm just moving all the colors around and I don't think I waited long enough for the last coat of um, actually I used clear gesso did I no I didn't just use the five coats of hairspray maybe I should have put the um, clear gesso on after the hairspray but now I'm putting the clear gesso after a light sand and it's not moving there after the gel medium was applied just got to be careful that I don't overwork it when I'm applying the gel medium so now I'm just taking an intense antique white pencil just to draw a design on the page and I must say that the Liquitex professional clear gesso is very gritty it's not as gritty as another one I have here but it's still gritty um, and DD put me on to Finibear's clear gesso which I have located in Australia and ordered and she said it was so smooth so I'm looking forward to trying that thanks Dee Dee and if any of you Australian girls want to know where I got it from just message me yeah fingers crossed we'll see how it goes I'm applying the gesso now and it worked I'm using the Finibear heavy gesso but it with the um, the clear gesso the gritty gesso it was a bit rough and so it didn't it didn't go on as smoothly as I liked so there was a lot more gesso there than was necessary so I changed to the um, Liquitex professional gesso which was more fluid and it went on fine and it was actually brighter and you can see the difference there between the um, Art Basics Finibear Gesso and the Ligatex so I'm just going over painting over all those elements that I added that I drew with the gesso before I can then put the color on um, this is not the Faber Kist, Pist, oh, excuse me Faber Castell Pit Artist White Big Brush Marker. This is now. I don't know what that first one was, but it wasn't working. But this is a brilliant marker um, to add the lines and detail. And I go over it later on, not to make it brighter, but to widen them. That noise is paying me off. Okay, so took some cadmium yellow medium hue to paint that large flower. I'm not painting at all because I'm going to go over that in a minute with some primary magenta. Microphone piece. So just dry brushing that over the yellow I 
and then I just took some more of the yellow that was left in the palette and just sort of blending it with that primary magenta. Uh, primary magenta again. And light blue violet. And just a light pink to um, brush into that center area of the flower. And then I try and give it some dimension there, but it didn't sort of work too well. But I love what I did with the um, magenta one. So I just went in with an angle brush, dabbed on a bit of the paint on a wet brush and blended it in. So now taking some violet because the colours over this green background needed to be a bit more vibrant I thought. Probably shouldn't have even done a garden scene especially with all the leaves I've got or I should have painted the leaves a different colour than what I did. So really it's just painting all the elements there and adding the detail that probably took longer than prepping the page, or prepping the background basically. Now this was, I love this colour but on this background it just didn't work. So I ended up um, changing that to some light green permanent with the yellow. Now it really doesn't look much now until I get the... Um, the outlines with the black and the white and adding all the the fun details that takes time but really makes the layout pop. And some scarlet acrylic here for the hearts. There goes the grandfather clock. So here I'm taking a Posca pen and outlining those hearts and everything else. So unless there's anything out of the ordinary, which I don't think there is, um, all I'm doing is adding detail to it with the black markers and the white markers and anything else I've added will be shown on the screen anyway. So this is a white jelly roll pen. Um, yeah, so anything else I've added will be up on the screen and so really there's nothing else I can say so I'll just put on some music and let you watch it if you wanted to but it worked so I can't wait to see what other creations I can do and try and detail the background a bit more and retain the detail and not spread it around like I did with the gel medium. So thanks for watching guys and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye. Bye.